What's going on people? I'm Crew Raptor and if you're new to the channel, I make gaming related content, gaming updates for the PS4 and the upcoming PS5. But if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Go on. I'll wait. TikTok. Alright, let's get into the video. Okay, so we got some good news and we got some bad news. The bad news is kind of long, so I'll solve it up with good news. So the good news is that Mr. Katsura Harada himself has become the general manager for Bandai Namco Studios. Pom, pom, pom. That's the cringiest trumpet impression ever. <laughs> but anyways, congrats on Mr. Harada for that. But now he not only supervises for Tekken, but he also supervises on the games like Dark Souls, Ace Combat, and other Bandai Namco Studio games. Not only that, Michael Murray, who was the game designer, has now become the lead producer for Tekken 7. Which means there are pretty good things in store for Tekken 7 now. I mean, look, he was the one who stated that Negan should be in the game. Negan! Negan, a completely off-the-book character in Tekken 7. Imagine that. But now, now that he's a lead producer, imagine what kind of things are in store for Tekken 7. And boy, oh boy, I cannot wait for what things are coming upcoming for Tekken 7. Ah, this is going to be interesting. So the game Tekken 7 has now a great vast potential. Okay, so now we come to the bad news. So, you know the game which I told, talked about in my previous videos, Tekken X Street Fighter, which was, pull, which was put on hold in the Bandai Namco Studio offices? Yep, that game might never even happen. Yep, you heard me right. Tekken X Street Fighter may never see the light again. Let me, let me explain why. Let me quote Mr. Harada himself. So, in, in, in the article now, he says, Yes, I'm emotionally up for it. I still want to release the game. However, as much as I want to proceed with the project, things have changed a lot since 2012. So I need to get approval and I need to speak to the Capcom again as well. They may even say no now. I mean look, he's not wrong to put down the game, right? Since the game was in development for since 2012, which is what, like seven, seven, six, seven years from now? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, bringing out a new Street Fighter X Tekken game since, uh, Tekken, but since Tekken 7 is still going strong and still going strong as what? As an esports game. Bringing out a new Street Fighter X Tekken is pretty pointless. Would you say? Uh, I don't know what you guys think, but let me know as well. But but according to me, bringing out a new game when Tekken 7 is really, really going strong for now, since they are bringing out more DLC characters from different franchises for like season, season two, and even there, there might even be there might be even a potential season three, since Michael Murray is a new uh, lead producer for Tekken. We can't say so. Yeah, bringing out Street Fighter is quite pointless. I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't buy the game when I'm currently enjoying Tekken 7. And also, since it was a project that they've been working for the past seven years, Capcom will obviously refuse it since it's a long-running project was put on hold. And since Capcom's uh, Street Fighter 5 is is also a super strong uh, esports game, that's right. They, they might even refuse it. They they they'll obviously refuse it because look. Street Fighter, they're making a lot of money from Street Fighter 5 by introducing DLC characters. I don't know if they still introduce DLC. I don't play Street Fighter 5 much, but um, from what I know from Tekken, Tekken has been doing really good for himself from people buying the new the DLC characters and stuff like that. Yeah, and and judging by if, if this DLC uh, Season 2 does good, they might even put investor money in making Season 3, which will improve the lifespan of Tekken 7 even more. So yeah, Tekken X Street Fighter may not even happen. Which may, disappoint, which may disappoint some of you fans out there, but hey, it's the truth, right? I mean, it's 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 better that they announce it sooner than later rather than disappointing the fans who were waiting for the season to come to pass for Street Fighter X Tekken. Alright guys, that's all the update on Tekken X Street Fighter for now, but if there are any more updates, if Harada or Michael Murray tweet something about it, you'll, you guys will be the first one to know. That being said, stay safe. Peace. Legends never die When the world is calling you Can you hear them scream?